Online whiteboards are an important tool for online teachers. These are applications which provide you a space which could be a white background or a black background or of any other color where you can write, you can draw and you can put some other annotations to explain your lectures. And this is critical for teaching mathematics but for some other subject teachers this is also an important tool. In this video we are going to discuss what are some of the critical or basic features a whiteboard application must have and then what are some of the desirable features which we may or may not have. And during this video I will be comparing four online digital whiteboard applications and these are Jamboard, Zideboard, Classflow and Bitpaper. And I will be comparing these applications on the basis of those features which we are going to discuss in this video. And this video therefore will help you in choosing the best digital online whiteboard for your particular application. And we are starting right after this short break. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Tahi and if this is your first time, please hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell to get notified whenever I post a new video on this channel every Tuesday and Friday. There are many online whiteboard applications available to choose from. Some of these applications also have some physical devices attached to them. For example, Google's Jamboard, they have a very expensive physical Jamboard as well, which you can purchase. Similarly, Classflow from Promethean, which is another very renowned company. Classflow is their uh, digital application where you can have an instant whiteboard during the lecture. And I have discussed these in my separate videos where I explained why I don't like uh, Google's Jamboard. So let's have a look at some of the basic features which we should have in these whiteboards. So there are two basic features or two critical features you can say. The first is that you must be able to use this uh, whiteboard application on different devices other than their own uh, physical device if they have one. For example, you must be able to use on your desktop, on your laptop, on your tablet. And one other device which I recommend is that you must check that that particular uh, whiteboard you can use on Wacom Intuos tablets because this is the cheapest option. Some of you might not be able to purchase uh, an Apple Pro iPad or a Samsung iPad even which is a little bit cheaper but Wacom tablet is cheaper than both of these and does the job very well. That is also a standard device. The second basic feature is that you must be able to use the whiteboard in different ways. For example, you should be able to draw on that whiteboard using your mouse which is the worst uh, case scenario because it's not easy to draw with mouse and the application should also allow us to use the stylus apple pencil which normally you use with your apple devices or s pen which you use with your samsung devices so your whiteboard application should allow you to use any of these devices because writing on a whiteboard is very easy when you are using some pencil and this is how i create uh, my mathematic courses for example, one of my course available on Skillshare is an algebra course and that course was completely created. All the videos were created by using the Wacom Intuos tablet because now you are writing just like you would write on any paper which is very easy to write and you can't write with the mouse. It's nearly impossible. So therefore, you should check this. And now let's have a look at some of the desirable features. So the first feature we want to have in a whiteboard is infinite space. And what does it mean is that we should be able to pan the whiteboard and then again start typing or drawing. There are many applications which provide this facility. Now the first is a Zideboard, uh, which is an abbreviation of Zoomable Whiteboard. And another application is Bitpaper. They both provide uh, infinite space on your whiteboard and the benefit of this infinite space is that you can just pan across the board and you can draw all your lecture on a single whiteboard and then your students will be able to download it as an image or as a pdf and when you download this as a pdf for example in zite board then you might have to check the a4 option 
uh, because uh, all the whiteboard will be converted into A4 pages and then you will be able to download in a PDF format. But having an infinite space on an online whiteboard is a good thing. Now the second feature we could be looking for is that we should be able to have more than one whiteboards or white papers because in bit paper they call it paper. So this can be accomplished in two ways. One is that you have more than one whiteboards and the other option is uh, which is available in uh, some of the applications such as in Classflow or in Classroom. I have a separate video on Classroom which you can watch on my channel. So that option is that you have the ability to add more pages instead of creating a new whiteboard you add new pages. That is essentially a new whiteboard. So no practical difference. Then another option is ability to zoom. Now Classflow gives you the ability to zoom in and out and it shows you the outline of your white paper. In Jamboard you have fit option and then you have various zoom options. You can zoom 50%, 100% and some uh, custom zoom option is also available. Another desirable feature is ability to share your whiteboard with your team members. Therefore, these are sometimes called shareable whiteboards or collaborative whiteboards because you can share them with your team members. For example, in Zyteboard, you have the option to invite other people. Uh, they will be able to join your whiteboard uh, by using a link or you can type their email and you can send them the invitation. So when you share your whiteboard, your team members are able to annotate on your whiteboard with you. So they will be able to add something to your whiteboard as well. And on Zyteboard, you can see this at the bottom of your whiteboard that how many people are currently on your whiteboard. Then there are some differences in how you share the screen. In some whiteboards, uh, instantly your screen is shared while in others, for example in Classflow, you send the screen to your students and uh, then students will be able to see the, your screen. Then there are differences in number of colors available to you. In Jamboard, you have only six colors available. In free version of Zyteboard, you have I think only three colors available. While in free Classflow whiteboard, you have a lot of uh, colors available. And essentially in big paper, you have almost infinite colors available. Normally you don't need many colors. You only need two or three colors. But for some of you, colors might be very important. So this is another factor you may consider. Now the next desirable feature is shape recognition and the number of shapes available in any particular whiteboard. In Jamboard, we don't have any shape available, unfortunately. In Classflow, we have a reasonable number of shapes available to select from, which is more than enough, I think. But in Bitpaper, you have a huge library of shapes and that is more than enough for any uh, practical application. So if shapes is critical for you, then you can go for Bitpaper. And the shape recognition depends on your own skills as well, so that you will get with the practice. And now the next feature is the ability to insert images and all of these whiteboard applications which we are discussing in this video, they have this feature of insert images and you can insert any image and then you can describe that particular uh, image in your lecture. Now then there are some miscellaneous features which you might be looking for in any of the applications. For example, highlighters or laser pointers. We have laser pointers available in Jamboard and Zyteboard. And in Classflow, we have a similar thing which is called Spotlight and also a Revealer where you can highlight any particular part of your whiteboard. Similarly, in Bitpaper, you can use arrows to point to a particular location in your whiteboard. So they are almost the same in this respect. Now another feature which you might consider is the ability to save your whiteboard. You can save your whiteboard as an image. You can save your whiteboard as a PDF file. And this functionality is available in Jamboard, in Zyteboard and also in Bitpaper. Another feature you might be interested in is that sometimes we want to change our background to a graph paper or to a grid. And this is also available in almost uh, any of these. So there is no problem. You can uh, use the graph paper while taking the lecture. Now at the end, I would like to mention that there are some other tools which are only available in 
क्लास फ्लो एंड दो आर मैथमेटिक्स टूल फॉर एग्जाम्पल अ सेट स्क्वायर अ रूलर अ कंपस सो इफ यू आर अ मैथ टीचर यू आर लुकिंग फॉर दीज टूल्स दीज आर ओनली अवेलेबल इन क्लास फ्लो एंड यू कैन ऑल्सो टेक अ पोल वेयर यू वॉन्ट टू गेट द ओपिनियन ऑफ योर स्टूडेंट्स नो दिस वॉज अ ब्रीफ कंपेरिजन ऑफ दीज फोर पॉपुलर ऑनलाइन व्हाइट बोर्ड्स एंड नो इट्स अप टू यू टू चूज एनी वन ऑफ दैम इफ यू टॉक अबाउट फीचर्स क्लास फ्लो एंड बिट पेपर्स आर रिच इन फीचर्स Uh, they have more features than others but uh, these free options are great and i think that we should not be paying for white board because uh, there are other ways we can uh, get this white board functionality and which i will discuss in maybe some other videos so i hope that you like this video if so please give it a thumbs up thanks for watching and see you next time